How many of you know the story of David and Goliath? Probably most of you have heard that, uh, going to Sunday school as a boy or girl. Uh, if you have your Bibles, turn to 1 Samuel 17, uh, and we're going to look at this famous story of him killing Goliath. As we talk about Goliath, uh, you need to understand my concern is not Goliath. My concern are, are the giants in your life, the things that you're facing. Why don't you just take a few minutes in your group, share what are some of the giants you're facing in 2019, things you don't know how to handle, things you don't know what you're going to do with, things that have you afraid. Uh, you share for a few minutes. How do you take down your giants? How do you keep them from dominating you? Uh, when David came out to the battle with the Philistines, he found all the soldiers, King Saul, were afraid. Uh, listen to, to what happened. Goliath stood and shouted to the ranks of Israel, Why do you come out and line up for battle? Am I not a Philistine? Are you not the servants of Saul? Choose a man and have him come down to me. If, he be, if he's able to fight and kill me, we will become your subjects. But if I overcome him and kill him, you will be our subjects and serve us. Then the Philistine said, This day I defy the armies of Israel. Give me a man and let us fight each other. On hearing the Philistines' words, Saul and all the Israelites were dismayed and terrified. The people were afraid. They were beside themselves. That's my concern in this series uh, what are the giants in your life that dominate your thinking? You worry about them morning and night. Uh, our text says that Goliath came out every morning and every night and repeated his speech. Uh, maybe that's what's going on in your life. You think about your giant the first thing in the morning and then the last thing before you go to sleep. Uh, how did uh, David take down his giant? He killed Goliath. How did he do it? It all has to do with the focus of your mind. So look at uh, 1 Samuel 17, 25 to 26. This is uh, David speaking to fellow soldiers. Now the Israelites had been saying, do you see how this man keeps coming out? They're talking about Goliath. He comes out to defy Israel. The king will give great wealth to the man who kills him. He will also give him his daughter in marriage and will exempt his family from taxes in Israel. David asked the men standing near him, what will be done for the man who kills this Philistine and removes this disgrace from Israel? Who is this? Here's the key line. Who is this uncircumcised Philistine that he should defy the armies of the living God? You see, all the other soldiers, they were focused on Goliath, the giant. David's talking about the armies of the living God. His focus was on God and God's power. In taking down our giants, it all has to do with where we focus our minds. Do we focus on the giants or do we focus on God? I'd like you to take some time now, go through your study, go through the journal, pray together, pray about giants people are facing, that people can focus their minds on God and have a great time together. And then I hope to see you Sunday and we kind of unpack this whole thing.